Hello, Virgo. Rambling Mike here, gonna play a little tarot with you today. Thanks for tuning in one more time, my Virgo friends. I appreciate your time. Uh, you know, I appreciate all your support. Appreciate you hitting that old like button while you're thinking about it. That old subscription button, thanks for that. I appreciate all your support. Big shout out and thank you definitely to all my Virgos that have blessed me with donations. Many of you. Very kind of you. I appreciate them all, large or small. Virgo, if you've blessed me, thank you. Big shout out and thank you to all my Ramblin' Nation members as well. Mwah, love you guys. Thank you for all your continued support. Month after month. Ah, uh, there's perks to being a Ramblin' Nation member. One of the perks is, well, I shout out all my members that have their own YouTube channel, regardless if it's terror or not. Uh, the first one that I want to shout out tonight is an amazing uh, tarot reader. It's Love Mist, M-Y-S-T, with Lisa Lisa, uh, my tarot-loving friends. If you don't know who uh, Lisa Lisa is, you're missing out, man. She's an amazing reader. Check her out, Love Mist, M-Y-S-T. Second one I want to shout out is Lori Barker Dance fitness and uh lori's got an amazing channel a whole bunch of videos put together with all kinds of um dance fitness type stuff it's fun man lori's really good at what she does yeah high vibrational you're gonna like it and then i want to shout out <clears throat> excuse me in the din with g bear g bear is a tarot reader and she's on youtube almost every night um, doing uh, live mini reads, re extremely reasonable. If you're looking for a mini read, um, I highly recommend uh, G Bear. In the Den with G Bear. And uh, let me shout him out again. Shout him out again. Love Mist with Lisa Lisa. Lori Barker Dance Fitness. And In the Den with G Bear. Check him out. Give him a like. Give him a subscribe. You guys know how to bless people, man. And, you know, let's not forget about the main perk uh, with Ramblin' Nation, and that's that we have a party every Wednesday night, Wednesday, Friends Day, 5 p.m. Eastern Time, every Wednesday night, where we do live readings for members only, a smaller, more intimate group, and, uh, you know, where I like to give away all kinds of goodies. Got ooey gooey. Soft and chewy shirts. Going to give away two of those this Wednesday. This Wednesday that I'm talking about is July 1st. July 1st, because I do it. I do it every week. I want you to know on July 1st, this is the prizes. We got uh, the winner, winner, chicken dinner. Going to give away four t-shirts on the 1st. Uh, small, medium, large. Guess right. Extra large, that's right. Going to give away two decks, an amazing tarot deck. Um, tarot Grand Lux by Ciro Marchetti, which I've modified. You know, I cut them down. I like this thing, man. It's Look at the backs, came out amazing. Because, well, it's big. You can see this, this deck was as big as this box. Not anymore. I modified it. I cut it down. If you, if you want to take a look at it, a lot of my modified decks, I have over 70 of them. They're my playlist, Ramblin' Mike's Modified Tarot and Oracle. Check them out, man. A lot of people keep me busy slicing them, slicing and dicing cards. And, you know, if you bought a deck from me, appreciate that. Thank you. And a lot of you have. Appreciate it. Here we go. I want to show Virgo some cards out of this Grand Lux. There's the hermit. That's an amazing hermit, if you ask old Ramblin'. I love that guy right there. And the magician, you know. It's definitely Virgo to me. Just saying, oh. Oh, Virgo. And our knight to pinnacles. That's because he is the only one that ever crosses that finish line right there, you know. Nice stuff. I'm going to be giving away that deck on Wednesday night. Also on Wednesday night, I'm going to give an Oracle deck away. Whispers of Love. And I'm going to play with that 
right here with this reading. We'll, we'll pull out a couple cards and see what we get right here. Hey, Terry Love Team. Let's pull a couple of cards. Uh, this Love Oracle for Virgo. They're going to line up with a spread. Thank you so very much for that, Love Team. What do we got here for Virgo? First card out is Patience compassion isn't that an interesting card let's say with that see things from a fresh perspective ain't that interesting either somebody's going to be looking at my virgo with a fresh perspective or virgo is going to be looking at a f something with a fresh perspective patience compassion interesting one more for virgo right here love team what do we got out of the Whispers of Love Oracle. Oh, oh man, again, true love. I believe that true love has come out in out of this deck. I believe this is the third time, but you can check. Because I put the names of the titles from these cards as my titles this week. That's nice, man. True love came out, patience and compassion. Let's do it, huh? Hey, Terry, we love team. Virgo's here. Let's do a reading for them. This will be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. A little look-see at love right here. So, love team, let's tell Virgo what they need to know most. Let's take all these amazing pictures. Let's put together a nice, clear, accurate story for Virgo's highest good. Thank you so very much for that, love team. I cannot do this without you. Appreciate you, my guides. Here we go, Virgo, cutting the deck. Gonna give you a nice full spread. You know that if you watch Rambling before. Here we go, first card out. Wow, here we go, Virgo. Ten of Cups, right in the middle of your spread right here. The little patience, a little compassion, a little story about a little kissy face right there. True love. Once upon a time, there was Virgo, and they lived happily ever after. Old Ten of Cups riding a heartbeat of your Celtic cross. Let's just do it, huh, Virgo? Let's just put it together right here. Let's see what crosses over Ten of Cups. They got the golden coin coming in. The Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, that's nice, huh? Uh, you know, it's a... The, the, the Ace of Pentacles for me is the cornerstone of the Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles being the quintessential universal dream, the little white picket fence, the big pink house, the loving couple, you know, money in the bank, the power couple, but it can take patience because, you know, even this is the, even though this is the cornerstone of this love story right here, it can take a hell of a long time for it. To manifest or for this offer the golden coin to come in and that, that could ride right along there with that old patience card right there you know and somebody looking at something in a in a new way hmm. got a golden coin coming in with 10 cups man that's amazing here we go virgo well we got our emperor we got our emperor at the base of the spread. There they are, you know, sacred masculine energy. It's Aries, may mean something to you, may not. It's the old emperor. Generally, with this story, you know, with that old golden coin taking a long time to come in with that ten of cups on the true love, the patience. You know, this is this is Mr. or Mrs. Stubborn right here. Mr. or Mrs. My Way or the Highway, you know him. Uh, Virgo may have told him to take the highway in the past, but the, the emperor is at the base of the spread, you know, and the emperor's energy can talk about stability. Let's just go with that, you know, stability with the Ten of Cups, stability with the Ace of Pentacles. But it is the emperor right there, and the emperor is looking at a whole new world in this picture. You know, the sun hasn't been shining all that brightly in this emperor's world. He's got armor on because he's been in a battle. He's no longer in a battle, Virgo. You know, the old emperor is looking at a whole new world right there. You know, I, 
big granite throne. Stability. Yeah, there might be an emperor that, uh, you know, wants to come in here with a golden coin. You know, it's been a hell of a lot of patience here for one of my Virgos out there, man. Oh, true love story unfolding right here. Here we go. Well, three swords came out, and in and in that position, um, that's how uh, I feel that the other person sees the situation with their Virgo. And uh, that's the old heartbreak right there. Three swords through their heart. I don't think these are through my Virgo's heart. Although, you know, I mean, these long true love journeys can be extremely painful. You've probably been through this already. I, I think this is your friend. I think your friend's got the old broken heart. Maybe somebody broke their heart, you know. Because the old emperor, oh, Mr. and Mrs. My Way or Highway. Old heartbreak and soul shakers that they are. They may have got their heart broke out there. Virgo, I don't think this is for you. I think it's for your friend. I'm going to shake it out anyway because they need a little spiritual surgery right here. If you feel that this is about your friend and they got their heart broke out there, you know, playing around on the highway, you can be in agreement with me. But I'm going to shake them out. Here we go. You ready? Out, out, out. Get out of Virgo's friend's heart. Out. All right, let's go, Virgo. Here we go. Oh, five of swords coming up. Crowning the spread. More swordsy. More swordsy. Yeah, the old emperor right there. Looking at that world. You know, needing to come in here and, and, and offer a golden coin so that they can have uh, ten cups. Because they didn't get ten cups wherever they were at. They got heartache and heartbreak and Five swords is all manipulation and control. Again, what you sow may be what you reap. And I see this coming back on a lot of these divines. Because you can't touch your beloved and get away with it. No, 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 no. We live in a universe that mirrors everything. Regardless if you believe all that or not. Five swords, but somebody's decided to stand up and do what's best for them. Somebody's decided to fire somebody or put somebody in the timeout chair. I, mean, I, I believe Virgo already did this with this friend a, a while ago and went on with their life. And uh, that same energy came back here. Five swords. And that's really about standing up and doing what's best for you. Putting somebody in a timeout chair or firing somebody. It's just emperor right here. No, it is because it surrounds this beautiful love story right here in the middle of the golden coin and the ten cups. There's an offer coming in. There's an offer coming in, man. Here we go. What do we got? Two swords. <laughs> Two swords coming out. Classic story right here, you know. Um, uh, sitting, sit, sitting by the dock in the bay right there. Protecting the heart. Is this my Virgo? You know, I don't know. I don't know if I want to play with them anymore. I kind of feel that. I don't know if I want to play with them anymore. They may have broke Virgo's heart. Virgo may have had to stand up and do five swords with them. Two swords. You know, but one thing about two swords is you can see her hair blowing right there. The winds of change have begun to blow here. You know, and there's that old eclipse moon keeps showing up in the reading. Yeah. Should I should should I allow him back in? Should I stay or should I go? What am I gonna do? Is this golden pinnacle for real? Or is that old wood nickel again? 
Here we go, Virgo. Lord, help us all. Look at all these damn swords coming out of here. Ten swords. Another completion of a cycle. Again, you know. It could be the emperor. They're staring right out the ten swords, you know. The three swords. The five swords. You know. They want to end a painful cycle. This has been a painful cycle for them, too, regardless if they've been in your world or not. I mean, a lot of times, the old, the old, the old emperor right here, male or female, in these true love stories that are playing out all over the planet. In those stories right there, these people right here, they try to Put this eternal flame out. It's got to be just torment to try and put that eternal flame out. It's got to be challenging for them, man. And, you know, they run off and try and paint the town red and all kinds of stupid shit. To try and put that, that, that flame out in their heart. Where sacred feminine energy is just kind of like, wow, all this, you know, all this amazing flamage in my heart. I've got to learn to love myself more than that burning love that I have for that individual right there. So that they quit running me off the love cliff right there. And uh, this person right here with ten swords, man. It's been a very painful cycle for them. Five, I mean, probably not even from you. Probably, you know, what you sow is what you reap. Ten swords, they want to end a very painful cycle. They want a new day to dawn. They want this ten of cups. Three pinnacles right there. There it is. Um, three pinnacles is about working on a foundation of something that's important to them with you. You know, that's going from the one to the three, working towards the ten pinnacle. But the two swords right there can say that Virgo, before they make any decision for Virgo, they want to make sure there ain't no third wheel left rolling around in the street right here. Very clear to me. These people would definitely want to end a very painful cycle with my Virgo. I swear they're coming in here to work hard at this. It's so It certainly looks like it to me. It may have taken a hell of a long time for this to begin. They had to go through the school of hard knocks. Three swords, five swords, ten swords. Uh, they got the armor on for a reason. They've been in a freaking battle. Trying to put that old eternal flame out. They, they didn't put it out. <laughs> Here we go, Virgo. Oh, the Queen of Swords. There she is right there. Uh-huh. There she is. You know her. You love her. She's the Queen of Swords. It's the Ice Queen showed up. You know, and she's got her sword raised up. All this damn swords of energy around here. Lord, help us all, man. You know. She got a sword raised up because she knows who's been painting her white roses red. <laughs> Cold and detached on the outside, but inside ooey gooey. Soft and chewy. Full of agape love. She's got some butterflies flying around her. That's because... I feel there's some transformation about to come in here. Huh? With a true love story. It's been full of patience and compassion. Lord, help us all. My queen of swords right there. She knows how to be alone. She can be quite successful being alone or he. But you know, my queen of swords, she truly desires her soulmate twin flame, life partner. She does. Here we go. What do we got right here? The magician. Oh, 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 oh. oh there my Virgo right there. The manifester. The manifester manifesting the golden coin in here. 
So, you know, Virgo, if you've been manifesting this, when they show up and offer you this golden coin right here, you know, don't, don't behead them. <laughs> know that you're the one that's been manifesting this right here, you know. That's the magician. And they, 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 they start in the 5D and they ground it into the 3D. So, I mean, you've definitely been working on this for a while in the 5D, no doubt about it. Here it comes. It's going to get grounded into the 3D. There's that solid groundedness of that golden coin coming in, grounding in, uh, grounding, grounding down to the ground, all those 10 cups in that rainbow. With the old emperor right there. Nice. You know, as above, so below. As within, so without. The magician tuned in, tapped in, turned on to the divine with the infinity symbol sitting right on their head. Manifesting new beginnings for themselves all around. The ace of swords, ace of pinnacles, ace of cups, ace of wands tucked right down there by their heart. That my Virgo. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck right here. Eight cups. Do you know what it says right here? <laughs> All right, I got a story. Here we go. Eight cups. Seven of swords. Six of swords. This tells me that somebody walked away from something. It's no longer emotionally fulfilling to them. You know, there's that old eclipse moon again, huh? It's our third eclipse moon coming up here in July. Let this games unfold. Somebody's walking away from something that's no longer emotionally fulfilling to them. Seven swords, all these damn swords. Three swords, five swords, ten swords, help us all. My Virgo with two swords and the queen of swords, help us all. But uh, this is this is the emperor, if you ask me. It walked away from something that's no longer emotionally fulfilling to them because of the liar, the cheater. I'm telling you, man. Uh, you know, they probably, they're reaping what they sowed because these are so classic for these divine relationships. You know, it starts off hot and heavy. And then somebody gets all fickled and runs off. The old kundalini fires off on the inside of them. They don't know what to do with all that amazing energy. Oh, my God, I got to go try and paint the town red. Next thing they know, man, they're dealing with that same energy out there. Seven of swords. That's the liar, the cheater, you know. And then the next card that comes out is six swords. Whew, man, we almost have the whole suit of swords out here. Lord have mercy, this is painful, man. I'm sure the Virgos experience this pain, but are probably, you know, woosod. You know, I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna deal with that again. That's for damn sure, Mike. And they need to prove with me that that old third wheel. See right there. I'm, I'm telling you, that third wheel was a seven of swords for him. And, oh, I just looked at that right there. It may have been all about money. She got all kinds of coins in her hair anyway. Normally is with all that karmic shit. But six swords came out, Virgo. And that's, you know, coming out of the choppy waters, learned a shitload of life lessons. They want to go over to Paradise Island. I know who's on Paradise Island right over there. The magician. And that's source. Bringing them in. Let's play with the witch's tarot. See what it has to say right here. Patience. And they, you know, ain't coming in, but I mean, I'm glad I shook those swords out. Yeah, right here. Eight wands. Eight wands. Oh, it's, it's, it's gorgeous, man. It, uh, I don't know. I'll try and get to the witch's tarot, but just telling the story right off here at the bottom of the deck with the tarot Illuminati. Eight wands. Cupid's arrows of love flying through the air. That's movement. It's another eight. It's about new beginnings. The high priestess, somebody's being led and guided by the divine. Somebody's actually listening to spirit anymore. To 
coming in work at something. Another eight. Working at New Beginnings with a power couple, man. There's a countdown right here. Oh, heading out to Ten Pinnacles. Let it, let in guided by the divine to come and work at something. Eight wands, the high priestess, eight pinnacles to work at preparing for the big day. The 1111 card came out right here. Soulmate, twin flame, life partner energy. I'm telling you, man, as we go into this second half of 2020, a year designed to blow the filters off people's crown chakras to begin with. People are having an awakenings about all kinds of stuff, especially about who they're supposed to be with. Because these relationships are bigger than just, you know, you and your friend. They have to do with changing the vibration on Gaia and letting that high vibration you know, sprinkle down on everybody else in their region. When these two, when these two figure it out and they get themselves balanced with each other. Justice, there it is, the balancing of karma. Everything I was just talking about right there. This is nice, man. This is absolutely a union coming together right here. You know, patience and compassion and true love story right here. Not an easy journey. Not an easy journey for either one of them. Both of them want this ten swords. They want this painful cycle to end. And both of them want ten of cups right here. But I swear Virgo's not going to move until they make sure that there ain't no third wheel flying around here no more. I don't blame you. All these damn swords, but what I see right here, I don't see no third wheel. I see them, they actually walked away from it. Wouldn't be surprised if they all released the X card, came out and all that. As a matter of fact, that card did jump now, and I'm thinking about it when I was shuffling off camera. Here we go. What do we got? Love team, let's play with the Witch's Tarot right here. What's Ten of Cups and Ace of Pentacles about for Virgo? Yeah, Seven of Cups right there. Seven of Cups came out. You know, it's got my old wizard on there pointing his finger, you know, like, Know the truth about the old fantasy card of Seven of Cups, you know, that what you own owns you. Somebody else, they, they, they found that out. They, they found that out. The old emperor found that out right there. Be they male or female, they found out, Virgo, that what you own owns you. <laughs> and they want, they want the real McCoy. They want the 10 of Cups and, they, and they're coming in with that golden pinnacle. Get ready. You're ready, man. I don't know how long this played out, but it's changing right here, right now, man. Such a time as this. Here we go. What's the emperor about? Yeah, six wands, huh? The triumphal return of the sun king. That's what they want to be, boy. They want to be the sun king. They want to go where the sun shining, Virgo. Victory after the battle because of confidence. It's going to take them confidence to come in. They don't want you to know all this shit went down. I guarantee you that. Oh, Rambler Mike telling all their secrets right over here. They don't want you to know any about this shit. They can act like, oh, hi. Hi. Oh, it's just been peachy for me. How you been? <laughs> yeah, they're not going to tell you about three swords. Why is three swords on this spread? Why is three swords on this spread? Six cups came out. Sweet thoughts of nostalgia. When times are good and things are sweet for them, huh? Soulmate, twin flame, life partner energy. Oh, they went through the school of hard knocks to learn about the truth of what this tarot spread's calling true love. Six cups, five swords. Why is it crowning? Oh, it's worth the exercise right here because they want four wands. They want a new beginning, man. They're going to stand up and do what's best for them, which would be to check this card out. What's this four, what's this four wands things about? The old 1111 card that showed up twice. 
Somebody's having a revelation. Maybe, God forbid, maybe they got on the internet and Googled, oh, twin flame. Oh, fuck. Uh, yeah, you know, who knows? But they definitely want to prepare for the big day anymore. I like it, man. You know, they're going to stand up and do what's best for them. And what would that be? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, go get their four wands. Mm-hmm. Two swords. Here it is. Over. I don't know. I don't know, man. I'm good. I'm good. I've been good for a while. I'm good. I'm good. I've been good. Two, two swords right here. Boy, the winds of change about to blow right here. Yeah. I'm telling you, it's right there. It's right there by three pinnacles with a bunch of people in it. And I told you two swords is right there until Virgo sees for sure that there ain't no other third wheel. And see right here, we got that three pinnacles, which means, you know, working on a foundation of something that's important to them with you. But in this card, there's only one person. So again, um, I don't think you've known about it. They've been planning, and working. On, oh, there's that golden pinnacle. It's right here. Yeah. They've been working on it because they found out the seven of cups don't work, man. They found it out. The great alchemist right there. Look at the alchemy jug. Candle burning. They're working on a pinnacle right there all by themselves, planning it out. How are they going to make this work with their Virgo? Well, they've been planning this, man. It's nice, man. It's nice, man. Virgo will be like, oh, because uh, uh, they're probably just going to show up out of the freaking blue with all these eights, eight wands, and eight. And eight wands came out after eight cups. So as soon as they cut and run, they're, they're, they're picking up the phone, man. You know, contact their Virgo right here, man. Yeah, yeah. Because they've been planning it all along. They're probably just planning on the right time to <laughs> make the move, man. Cut the cord. Ten swords. Yeah, ten swords, man. They want to end a painful cycle. I would say both of these people do. They want to end a painful cycle. They want happiness and joy and bliss back in their life. Those three cups. Happiness and joy and bliss back in their life. They want to end the third wheel shit. This person's learned, man. Seven of cups is not where it's at. Four of wands is where it's at. Six of cups is where it's at. Oh my God, that's such a powerful reading. They want a reunion. Three cups. Three pinnacles. Why is it here? Why is it here? Thank you, love team. Yeah, seven of swords, man. They know. They know. Uh, that uh, they, they can't do this shit no more. And seven of swords is so sneaky. Can't be, you know, deceiving. Because it came back. I swear to God, this energy came back on them. <laughs> Whoever it was over here probably, probably gave him three swords through the heart. You know what that's about. Seven of swords, man. I think this person's changed, but you tell me in the comments, man. It's going to be a very interesting next couple of months. I've been telling you that for a while right here. Queen of Swords, please. Why is she here? Oh, damn it, Virgo. There's that three swords. These two are mirroring each other, huh? Now, you know, this is my Queen of Swords, uh, three swords. So. Virgo, you know what I'm doing for you. These are coming out. Be ready? Here we go. Out, out, out. Get out of Virgo's heart. Out. Man, look at this mirroring energy of these two. I like it, my magician. I like it. I see people dancing under the four wands of passion. Magician. And a magician manifested the death card. This thing could have looked like it was dead dog in the middle of the road, dead. May have thought they actually put that eternal flame out, but I'm telling you, you can't put that flame out. 
They didn't start it. They can't put it out. It's about death, birth, and resurrection. It's about major manifestation. A major manifestation here. A metamorphosis of a very high degree. It involved a lot of patience, a lot of compassion in a very special true love story. Four two of wands, the balancing of karma with justice, the death card, major transformation, the magician. And again, I mean, the bottom of the deck is justice again. Wow, all this mirroring energy, you know, the, the balancing of karma. I mean, it's time. This, but, you know, I'm telling you from what I see right here, they let the third wheel go. Let's play with some other cards here. Mystic Moon, what do you got to add to this amazing love story unfolding here for my Virgos? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Thank you, love team. Here we go. What do we got? Mystic Moon. What do we got, love team? Lines up with this spread. Understanding came out. Imagine that. Everybody getting an understanding. Two justice cards. Two four of wands. Two three of swords. Lord, help us all. Two seven of swords. Lord, help us all. <laughs> understanding came out that's what we need right here understanding that the answer is yes what <laughs> oh man who gets the best read this time Virgo does <laughs> Oh, you figured I'd get both four wands out there. Kissy face. The answer is yes. Everybody coming into an understanding from the divine about this journey that they've been on right here. Nice, man. One more. One more. Thank you, love team. One more. What do we got right here? Uh, wow. Wow. It says commitment. Gorgeous, man. Gorgeous. Get ready. Get ready. 2020. Everybody getting their 2020 vision on. Love cards on this for Virgo. Thank you. Well, past life relationship, no doubt about that, huh? Sometimes, you know... I mean, these are these love stories that take more than one lifetime to put together. They're fun. Have fun here. This is union coming together in this one. Union. How many lifetimes does it take to put this all together? Here it comes. Romantic feelings. Ooh, somebody's feeling their feelings. They're feeling their feelings. <laughs> Nice, man. And playfulness came out. Not the Queen of Swords. Playfulness came out. <laughs> Virgo. It says to recapture romance. Allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. And uh, it wanted to come out in the, in, in, in the reading. And that's because somebody's done this. I swear. That's what the spread is saying, that they have released the karmic. But you're going to find out for sure for yourself. Before you, before you go skipping around, go four of wands, maypole right there. Huh? Major on this for my Virgos. Yeah, that's gorgeous, man. Here we go. What do we got? What do we got for them? The magician, of course, the magician has the overall, and there they are, you know, sitting in the lotus position, huh? Tuned in, tapped in, turned on to the divine. 
Watching all that stinking thinking, you know, that, that old head's lit up right there. We do create what we think and what we feel and what we believe. Let's remember that. Tuned in right there, manifesting. It's Sagittarius, it's Temperance, it's Michael, the Archangel. Manifesting, pulling it in from the 5D. You know, this card can be about um, all the cooperative components coming together for you, being at the right place at the right time, seeing the rainbow. We all know Temperance is about being balanced. It's also a very high-grade reunion card. Virgo could be manifesting a reunion. The star. Wow. That's Aquarius. May mean something, may not. Temperance is Sagittarius. The star. The magician manifesting the star. Great hope, great faith, potential of your dreams to become reality. You do not get the star card unless you've been through hell fire. It's gorgeous, gorgeous. It's about healing. It's about the divine, a reunion. It's about my Virgos. The patience, look at it right there. The compassion, you know, the manifester. God, this is gorgeous. Virgo, I loved it. Hope you did too. Namaste, my friends. Love and light. Talk to you soon, Virgo. Bye for now.